All right, so somebody was offering up this 12-inch uh, cast iron skillet for free. And it doesn't look like it's in the best shape in the world, but it also isn't the worst shape in the world. So I figured I would get it and see if I could make it look better. Um, but I've already got three pans this size, so I was going to fix it up and give it to somebody. Well, then I ended up talking to the person who was giving it away, and they said... Yeah, this was my mom's old pan, and she would be really upset that I was getting rid of this, but it's been sitting in a closet for 15 years, and it looked like this when I got it, and I wasn't sure what to do with it. So I'm going to see if I can fix it up and get it looking much better than it is now and see how we can cook with it and get it all reseasoned and everything. So first thing I'm going to do is throw this in the oven in the self-cleaning cycle and see what happens after that. If we need to go further and sand the thing down you might do that as well uh, but so far it's looking fairly decent fairly smooth we just got this big patch of rust and crap in the middle of it so let's see what we can do i'll see you on the other side all right so we finished the self-cleaning feature um, you can see there's some rust spots in here still so i am gonna sand it down a little bit i got an orbital sander and some sandpaper so i'll take it out into the garage and do that um, one thing i did notice there's a lot of rust on the back too and not sure if you can see it here or not but there's a 10 SK made in the USA and a D down here at the bottom and I did some investigation and found that that um, is a lodge pan I wasn't sure what it was before but it's a lodge pan dated between 19 early 1960s and about 1973 is when they switched out of this model so I'm going to sand it down, and I will show you what it looks like once we're done with that. All right, so I don't have a good tripod, so I can't show you my process and hold the phone at the same time, but um, this is the after product. Uh, what I did first, I took this Avanti Pro Quick Strip Disc. You can get these at Home Depot for about six bucks, and I got a bunch of them a while back. But you hook it to a drill, and you... Run the whole pan through with this. I did both the inside and the outside with this. Um, completely stripped, even the handle, all the way around. Then, just on the inside, I took my palm sander. If I can get that in here. Um, and I did 60 grit, then 150 grit, then 220 grit. And this is what we got here. Um, this works really well on lodge pans because... Uh, they come out of the factory with a not really smooth surface, and I recently discovered that I can take all my lodge pans and strip them and sand them all down, and they're a whole lot smoother this way. Uh, makes fried eggs a whole lot easier. Uh, but that's where we're at now. Next up, I'm actually going to go through the seasoning process. Take, um, Put it in the oven at 200 degrees, let it heat up. Once it reaches 200 degrees, pull it out. I'm going to cover it in grapeseed oil and then put it back in the oven at 500 degrees let it cook for an hour and then i'll turn off the oven and let it cool down in the oven and once it cools down we'll do that again and again and again probably three to five times i'll do that whole process and then it should be good enough to go uh, but i will show you where we're at once that's done all right so here's the final product um it went through six times through the oven my goal was five and then uh, number three i realized i grabbed olive oil instead of grapeseed oil so i decided i wanted five times with grapeseed oil so now we're going to try frying an egg and see where that goes um i did set it to medium low heat and i'm gonna just spray this with some spray and we will dump the egg in here i did crack the egg before I started the video. I figured it would be easier to do with one hand if I did it this way. It already looks like on the edge it's kind of flipping up. I'm not sure if it's going to show up in the camera. It looks like it's already bubbling up off the pan, which is kind of nice. Now I'm really hungry, and I can't even eat this. Oh, 
Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love it. All right. Well, that's the whole journey of the pan. So I hope you enjoyed it. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love it.